Hi guys, I uh, just want to show you um, a fault that we're getting with this Peugeot here and I want to show you how you can sort of go about fixing it yourself. Don't necessarily need to take it to a garage at all. Uh, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm in, I'm in a Peugeot here as you can see. And I'm going to turn the, um, the engine on. So we'll just start the engine. And I just want you to sort of observe the messages that we're getting on the dashboard and on the instrument panel there. So first of all, We've got a ABS braking system faulty and that alternates between that one and a different message that we we're getting. I'll, I'll show you it um, in a moment if, when it comes back on. There it is, ASP stroke ASR system faulty. Uh, so that's, and then we get the braking system fault. And then also we've got the ABS and ASP warning lights showing on the dashboard there. Um, now that indicates to me that it is a fault somewhere within the, uh, well obviously it's within the ABS system, but um, we've got a fault either in one of the ABS sensors, which is the best case scenario because the ABS sensors are the cheapest parts to replace. Yes, they're a bit fiddly, but um, they generally maybe sort of 25, 30 pounds for a replacement ABS sensor, whereas it could also be the ABS pump or the ABS module, which uh, costs a lot of money and that could generally cost around 250 to 300 pounds um, maybe it's a bit cheaper obviously depending on your own vehicle and how, how old or how new your vehicle is um, but to diagnose the uh, fault and find out exactly where the fault is uh, we've enlisted the help of our launch C-Reader VIII or it's um, CRP129 as it's, as it's also known as they're both exactly the same tool um, so don't worry about um, what it says on the top too much as long as it's either VIII or 129 then you know you've got the right tool um, which incidentally is available just by clicking the link directly below this video um, but I'm just going to show you the diagnosis here so we're going into Peugeot, going into cars uh, the vehicle we're in is a 308 so we'll click 308 we're going to manually select the system that we want to diagnose and it's active safety which is ABS we're now getting messages on there saying stop braking system folly that is because we are actually sort of interrogating that system so we're going to click on read DTC and straight away it's telling us there that uh, we have front right wheel speed sensor electrical fault um, so that's pretty self-explanatory um, it's good news in a way yes it's bad news that we have the fault but it's good news in a way in that um, it is the cheapest of the, um, the faults that it could be now you could either get front right you could get front right uh, left you could get rear right or rear left um, either way it's 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 going to be uh, needing a new ABS sensor um, so what we need to do is well we'll go out and we'll show you the ABS sensor itself and then we'll get the new ABS sensor in, then we'll come back into the vehicle and we can um, show you the kit clearing the fault and actually getting rid of the warning lights as well. All right, so we've got the wheel off to make it a bit easier for you. Um, now the ABS sensor is actually this wire here, so if you follow it up, it eventually hooks up to this sort of grey connector here. And it's just a case of unplugging that so that this part here stays just where it is and this part all unravels take it completely out oh, you see it going out of there. So take that out uh, replace it with the new one hook it all back up and then you should be able to erase the trouble codes and get rid of the dashboard warning light All right, so we're back in the vehicle now after having changed the ABS sensor over. ABS sensor change takes generally about, um, it depends it depends if you've done it before, depends on your experience with changing anything like this before. It took us about half an hour, um, but sort of please allow maybe around about one hour for the job. Um, it also depends on whether the ABS sensor is seized in, in, the, uh, in the area as well. Sometimes it can take a bit longer to get it out if it is seized. Um, so we're back in the vehicle, we've changed the sensor, so what we're going to do is um, I'll just try and get this properly so we can see the ABS lights as well um, being removed. Um, so first of all we'll just read the codes, see if the 
are still there, which we expect them to be because we haven't cleared them. Right, so what we're going to do is go and clear diagnostic trouble code. Ensure you wish to clear it. We're going to click yes. So that's cleared. And then once we come out of the system, you'll see the lights disappear. There we go. Um, and that is all thanks to the launch uh, C Reader VIII or CRP129 as it's also known. Uh, you can pick it up uh, just by clicking the link directly below this video. And I hope this video has helped you if you do get if you are getting these lights on your dashboard uh, or the message on the, um, the message display sender. Uh, thanks for watching this video.